Hello and welcome to another review. This time, Czech State Railway 4-axle electric locomotive class 380, also known as Skoda 109E. And this model was released by Trix by the end of 2018. Here's the label, item 22196, and this model is equipped with MFX Trix uh, decoder with sound. This model is also available in a couple of different paint schemes, included DB, Red, White, and in 2019 Trix announced a release of a couple of other different paint schemes. Quickly about the packaging, sleeve, clamshell box, uh, and the model is jammed with two pieces of styrofoam on each side. At the back there is a small sleeve and envelope very similar to Pico professional models but instead of a box it's just simply a sleeve containing two manuals in several languages and warranty card there is no uh, assembly manual and there's no additional parts um, anywhere in the box everything that needs to be attached to this model is already there and it's ready to run the shell or the body of this model is made out of metal, not plastic, which is quite typical execution for tricks and Merklin products. And at least from my perspective, I can tell small, barely detectable, but a difference in appearance, uh, general appearance and the finishing between this model and typical plastic uh, locomotive. Overall paint quality, at least in case of my model, is okay with some significant room for improvement. The silver paint, as you can see, looks quite grainy and powdery, and I'm not quite sure whether this is the metal substrate or the quality of, of the paint itself. Um, and you can, you can see some of the issues here. You can see the line kind of zigzagging here and there. And this is the cab on the opposite side, and you can clearly see the drop and uneven line. And it seems to be consistent around the, around the model. This is one of the four doors and looks like this is the only one line here on this model that is actually perfectly straight. More markings, small prints and classification numbers. Very nicely executed. From scale perspective this is 0.7 millimeters pencil. So actually the print is quite good. And again for scale 0.7 pencil. Very nice painted pant pantographs. And the entire armature on top of the roof is actually very impressive. Maybe with the exception of a couple of elements. This one and this one here. Looks like these are uh, plastic add-on elements and I don't think they've been painted. They are just simply uh, silver plastic injection molded um, and you can see kind of the flow of plastic and a little bit of a like hazing and veins here especially on this one here the railings on the side of the cab and the railings below windshield um, are uh, 2D and they are integral parts uh, molded together with the shell however the ones here are 3D see-through and even though they seem to be a little bit out of scale they look completely different. Windshield wiper is looking very nice and very nice and clear uh, windshield with very nicely uh, executed interior cap and there's a lot of details I can see through the window but if you take a look on this side everything seems to be okay here and then you can see clearly a gap right here on this edge. And let's see if I can demonstrate this. This is 0 0.2 millimeters cardboard. I have absolutely no issue of putting it in. And then on the other side is exactly the same story. You can see the gap right here.
and then nothing on this side. This gap is actually really bad. You can actually see the interior through, right through the opening. But there is very nice diamond pattern here on uh, on the steps. Standard Merklin slash trick coupler, of course, uh, standard socket, coupler socket, you can replace the coupler for um, a different coupler of your choice and I already replaced it with Fleischmann. As you can see, there is no option to add air hoses, they just simply end with this line here. And there is no option to replace the front guard for full prototypical uh, guard either. Very nice looking side frames and the suspension elements. A lot of details, even though it's only 2D mold. All four axles are powered. Two of them are with traction tires. And you can see one here, one here. Well, scalping mechanism with standard socket right here. All right, so let's go for a test ride. And like I said earlier, this is a model equipped, factory equipped with MFX decoder, which is the Markman Trix standard, uh, and the decoder is set to 128 uh, speed steps. Let's take a look. Speed step one. Nice and smooth. Three, seven, and eleven. So the slow speed operation seems to be quite good, and that's without any fine tuning. And that's twenty four. The drive seems to be a little bit louder than I expected to be. But at the same time nothing really major. The decoder functions and the MFX uh, decoder installed in this locomotive. Um, in attached manual on page 13 I believe 12 and 13 you have a table of all 15 functions listed and correspond numbers um, and list of different systems and standards to operate on and there's also a list on uh, page 13 of all the key uh, CVs required to fine-tune the model included volume and acceleration deceleration and so on there's a couple of other informations also about how to reprogram um, the address, long and short. And uh, let's take a look. I have my system locked to DCC only and uh, I have all the 15 functions already mapped out. And uh, here are some of the differences. Uh, for example, the sound activation is actually in function 2, not function 1. Function 1 is actually station announcement. And then lights are standard F0. And some of the other options, we will talk about it in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about the light options and functions. And it's going to get a little bit shaky. I had to take the camera off the tripod. So if you turn F0, which is activated now, you're activating both headlights on both ends and the directional lights are not working not until you press F6 and F8 together with F0 and now you have directional lights on both, end, both ends now when you deactivate uh, F6, function 6, you are turning off red markers 
on one end. There's no lights on the back. Alright, so let's take a look inside. Before we can open this model, you have to remove four screws. You can see them laying here. There is two of them on each side. One here. You can see the opening right there. One right here. And then on the opposite side is exactly the same story. You can see the opening. And there is one below right there once you take the screws out actually taking the body off is very easy like I mentioned earlier this is all metal uh, shell so there is no flex therefore it's just simply sliding off and you can right away tell the weight is not in the base or, or the chassis is all in uh, in the body the entire weight of this model is in in the shell so quickly, here's the shell, and you can see the four nests for screws. Actually, very simple and uh, very clean design. The frame is a one piece stamp metal uh, plate. You have some of the plastic pieces attached from the bottom and the front. Five pole motor, flywheel, two shafts, distributing power to both uh, boogies or trucks. LED circuit boards to provide lights and very simple clean electronic board. This is the uh, MFX decoder. The decoder interface is 21 MTC which means the, the female side is on the decoder side and all the pins are on the locomotive board and of course you can replace the decoder if you wish uh, for something different. Speaker is mounted on the opposite side right there and I will flip it now and this is the speaker chamber and you should be able to see the speaker on the opposite side behind the shaft very clean and simple design And now since we have the shell off, it's also a perfect opportunity to see the side frames and the suspension. So here's my personal perspective on this model. If I take into consideration the quality related issues uh, specific to my model, I have no other option uh, than rate this model slightly better than OK. And I'm disappointed because from well-established brand like Trix, I expected much better model than uh, what I received. To be a little bit more specific, the drive is performing really well, especially at the low speed, it's performing surprisingly well, and that's without even modifying any decoder settings. Um, however, it's slightly louder than I expected and would like to see. The roof components and all the electrical components on top of the roof are looking fantastic, and there's absolutely no question about it. The paint quality for my taste is spotty at best. I'm not really a big fan of that granular uh, finishing of the silver color, uh, not to mention the uneven lines around the doors and the windshields. My top two points of disappointment with this model are obviously the windshields and the gaps between the windshields and, and the shell on both ends of the model and the execution of railings just below the windshield, which are just uh, 2D uh, integral parts of the shell. The factory equipped MFX decoder is delivering pretty much basic 15 function functions and of course you can debate whether 15 functions is too many enough or just right but the reality of the market today is that most of the 21 pin decoders are delivering or pushing over 20 functions and uh, especially from a perspective of some of the recent announcements from Pico and ESU bringing new generation of decoders this year on the market and some of them are expected to push uh, 30 functions the 15 basing functions without even interior lights 
are not really that exciting. From price perspective, this model is line price within about probably 20 euros with most of the four axle mainstream electric locomotives available uh, on the market today. So in conclusion, is of course my personal opinion and it's a matter of uh, personal preferences, but uh, I've seen this locomotive in operation in multiple countries and I've been waiting for this model to be released for quite some time. Uh, personally, I think uh, Trix had fantastic opportunity to bring to the market something fresh and unique, and uh, they pretty much short-landed, at least for me. So, happy model railroading. Thank you very much.